Hey you guys, okay so this is day two of my um, my water fast. Today was is like starting off really good. I mean I woke up bright eye, bushy tail at 6.30 and was ready to like get my day started. Kids were still asleep. I went and weighed myself, which I'm about to be showing you guys in a minute. Um, was happy. I mean, like, no pain. Uh, yesterday, after I recorded, um, that last video around 7.30, I was in so much pain with my legs, but I contributed to, um, I contributed to the fasting. But now that I think about it, it may be because, um, when I went to, the hospital, they also gave me steroids and magnesium and some sodium to kind of open up my lungs, um, to get the mucus out of my lungs. So, um, it may have been my way for the detox, the fasting detox of pushing the toxin out of my body as well. So, just guessing. I'm not medical. You know, this is not no medical advice because I have, I have some medical history, but not a lot. Um, so I don't know if that's what it was happening, but I do know that I was, uh, I was coughing up a lot of more, lot more phlegm, a lot more of the mucus, and today I actually feel better. So, actually, last night I started feeling better. So, I mean, my daughter woke up around um, 7.30, got her fed, um, got her fed, changed, she's taking a nap. Other two, I just made food for them. Let me tell you, one thing that I do not like about the fasting is that you're not able to taste the food that you cook for your kids. And I don't like that part because... Even though I know how to cook, you still, you know, while you're cooking, you want to be able to taste what you're giving your children. I know you people that that likes to cook, chefs out there, I'm not a chef. I'm not trying to be one. It's not a dream of mine, but I do cook for my kids, um, or at least I try to. I like to be able to taste what I'm giving them. Um, they ate it. They tore it up, um, which is great. But I did not like that. Like, that was the only thing that it was like, oh, you know. Um, and then you also smell the food and, you know, it gives you cravings. And I'm not turning them vegan at all. I'm not, you know, doing no fasting for them. Letting them grow, you know. If they want to join me later when they get older, then that's great. That's why I have the situation. I, I'm. I said before that my husband do what he he does. I'm not pushing him to do anything. You know, we both need to lose weight, but I'm not pushing him to do anything because you know his time. He will learn in time, you know. Um, and then you know. When I was eating my, like, some vegan food, you know, I was like, oh, this tastes so good. And then I passed him, and he's like, oh, I think I can, you know, I think I can handle this. So, I mean, it's like some things, you know, you can change and some things you can't. So, I'm not pushing. And, you know, I'm still, I say that I like vegan, you know, I'm eating vegan and or pescatarian because sometimes I put some eggs in it. You know, I'm I'm right on that borderline of not knowing what I want to do, but I still crave meat. Let's just be honest here. I'm still, I still crave the meat. I still want to go to Taco Bell. I still want to do a monk bank. I want to do all of that, you know, but I'm worrying about my health right now. So that's the reason for this video. Um, I woke up, I wasn't hungry, um, I've been drinking my water, 
Um, I'm on my second bottle. This is just, you know, I'm on my second bottle. Um, still haven't gotten around to getting a real big leader because of the sick of situations changed yesterday. But um, I'm on my second bottle. I'm heading towards my third. And I'm feeling good. Like, no hunger. Not really thinking about it. I mean, when I was cooking for them, I was craving that I wanted to taste. But um, I didn't, you know. Gave them their food and now I'm in here. I'm about to take me a shower and get myself ready for today. And um, But I'm going to show you guys um, the the weight that I am today, right now. Hey, okay, so I'm back with the update before I start feeding my, my daughter. Um, the hunger have came back, but it's manageable. It's not like, oh my God, I have to eat. I'm at the I'm I'm gonna be mad if I don't eat. It's not one of those. It's really manageable. Um, today is just my. I'm just gonna stay home, clean up the house, and so that's my day today. Um, unless you know, I feel like I want to go to my mom's house or something. Other than that, I'm just today is the end day. But um, I just wanted to update that the cravings did come back um i am still drinking water and stuff and it's making the the um the pains manageable um i think the water is really making the pain manageable also um the cramping that i was feeling yesterday came back but it kind of like moved up so I'm now contributing it to the fasting because I don't know if any of you guys had this but like the pain I can it feels like um like you had like a hard workout like you haven't worked out in a long time and you had a hard leg workout um like a tough leg day that's what it feels like or where uh, you have like restless leg syndrome where you got to constantly move because that tapers the pain um, or the aching of the legs you have to continue to walk that's kind of what it feels like because like when I'm walking I don't feel it as much but when I'm sitting down I'm not doing anything that's when it's like I have to like move my legs. I have to do something to kind of get the pain, um, to die the pain down. That's probably why it was so bad last night. Um, because like at nighttime you you getting ready to sleep, so you're not moving around. And I had to take a pain med because it was just frustrating. Like it was irritating me. Um, the, the syndrome was like, the achiness was like frustrating me. It was like irritating. So I took like, um, a pain and then I had that nagging. It wasn't bad like that, the little headache also. So, but both of them combined, I just, I'm like, I'm ready to sleep. This ain't working. Um, then, um, turn this off, man. We're, we're watching a little blue, blue, blue. Um, then, what's another thing I was going to say? I was going to say something. I lost my train of thought. Um, come here. Look. Um, I also, Look. come here, big head. Look. This Jerry Bear. Look. 
named Jeremiah, but I call him Jerbigger. <laughs> so, um, he's my two-year-old. And I have a seven-year-old that's, you know, doing his little thing on his little, um, his little tablet. So, he don't, he, you know, when they get, and they start getting older, they like, mm, I'm doing my thing, mama. Um, anyway. What was I about to say? I still have, like, that tar mouth. Like, it's, it don't. Like, it's white. That little tar, that tarry mouth thing. You know, I like, I try to brush it off, but it's not like, it's like really, really white when I, when I wake up, but it's like, it, you know. So I got the little tar mouth going on. But as you can see, I'm like 130, I'm 239, which was amazing, like. Wow. That's like six pounds in one day. Like, I know it's going to, like, calm down, but, like, I was hearing people say two pounds a day, you know. And so I was expecting, like, two pounds. I wasn't expecting that. So that right there was amazing. Now I'm going to see, like, if it tapers down throughout the week. You know, I may not get a weight loss throughout the week, but... Sister, I'm glad with that six pounds in one day. I mean, I did have, uh, you know, um, I let out some, so that could contribute. But, um, wow, you know, um, I'm saying I'm a lot, am I? Anyway, I'll update you guys tonight because I'm not doing too much today, so I'm not going running or anything unless something else happens. Like, I get another symptom, then I'll come on here and update. Other than that, I'll update again tonight. See you guys soon. Hey, you guys. Okay, so it is 9.02 Ian. It's about the end of the day for me. That's my oldest. His name's Joel. <laughs> so, um, today was a pretty successful day. Um... It's it's been a really good day. Um, I did have some soreness and some cramping, and I did crave a few times, but water has been doing like wonderful. I found that around six thirty, I got sleepy, so I had to take. I went and took a nap, um, but I. Um, but I find that the naps is like when I went to take that nap it was just relaxing like my sleep has been really relaxing now so um, I think that's good as far as anything else there was no difference um, I didn't have any different symptoms from um, the last time Today was a re relatively easy day, um, and I still have energy until like around 6.30 part. I still have a lot of energy, and um, we're going to see how day three go. Day two was success, and um, even the headache that I had yesterday, I don't have that today. Today, I still just have the little aching in my legs and hips area and um almost like a part of my stomach area i have like some aching in but it's not bad um so that's my day and um we'll see you tomorrow bye